All right, so can you imagine if it was against the law for your boss to contact you after regular work hours? The country of Portugal recently passed some of the most stringent remote worker protections in the world, and many European countries are looking at doing the same. But that could, the question is, could that work affect us here in the United States? Paula Tutman joins us from her home office. And Paula, I imagine work-life balance is pretty tough for a lot of people who are working longer hours from home. Yeah, you know what, Karen, there's good and bad with everything. So yeah, you know, I do a lot of work from home remotely these days. The good news is a lot of times these are my work shoes and I've only driven maybe 6,000 miles in the last 18 months. Okay, but here's the thing. Like many workers, this is my work environment, a Zoom call or a Teams call on my computer and I don't close my laptop. The work is always there. So many people are dealing with this right now, and it is basically changing the way we look at where and what an office is and what the bottom line is. Take Regina Ann Campbell, for instance, the CEO of the nonprofit in Detroit Build Institute. She believes her workers are working too long and too many hours at home, and so she asks them to shut it down, yet she's not able to do it herself. I try to turn it off um, by 8 p.m. at night, Sometimes I'm successful. Lisa has the same issue. Laptop open, phone on, work is always there, and so she does it. It's really easy to just, you know, even after it's working hours, is to grab my computer and go sit on the couch and continue working. Marquise, on the other hand, is part of the new generation of workers demanding change, and the pandemic is simply helping the cause. I try to be very particular, but as soon as I leave the office, like, I turn off notifications. But all three believe it is time to talk about legislation to refine the work rules so that people aren't uncompensated, overworked, or taken advantage of, even if it is of their own doing. But people don't necessarily show up because their heartfelt want to do good and right. So you have to have a balance of legislation, which is why we have legislation that exists. But organizational expert Dr. David Strubler from Oakland University absolutely disagrees. He says in the United States, this is not legislation that would necessarily work. It's not a great idea to legislate those kinds of things. He says what will work is workers and bosses legislating their own behavior. And that in itself is an underutilized muscle. He says those of us working from home have to practice and enforce our own behaviors to simply stop. In other words, practice discipline, not look for legislation. By leaving the phone elsewhere, uh, life can be better. And, you know, I grew up at a time when there were no cell phones and everything went fine. Yeah, you know what? This pandemic is putting everything under a magnifying glass. It's, it's just that simple. It's changing the way we look at work, the legislation in terms of extra hours, paying for Wi-Fi, things like that. But one thing is immutably clear, and that is at this juncture, certainly in this country, we do better legislating ourselves than letting the legislature get involved, Karen. Yeah, lots there to think about. And we all obviously are, our work schedules have changed so much. So it's obviously an important topic to consider there. Thanks, Paula.